Hi guys, so a long time no see. I literally haven't done a video in about three weeks. I think I uploaded like two weeks ago, um, but that was like recorded ages ago. Um, literally, this feels so weird sat in front of a camera. I haven't filmed in ages, I'm so sorry. It's just because I've been at home. I'm still at home now, but I've been at home and I've been like with my family and stuff and I just haven't really had the chance to film. I've just not really been in the kind of frame of mind, I've just been in the frame of mind of being with my family and everything. So I just haven't really wanted to film to be honest. So right now I'm going to film a video. I'm nearly back at uni, I'll be back at uni in about six days. Um, so I'm excited for that because I'm excited to get back into a routine like with YouTube and just with my life really. Um, so get back into a bit of a routine and when I'm at uni I have like a set time where I can film and I can upload and edit and stuff. Whereas obviously being at home um, I've had like a lot of things to do and like things have been arranged and for example we'll go to the panto in like an hour, you know what I mean. Um, so today I'm actually going to be doing a video on a few beauty bits that I've brought and a few beauty bits that I've got for Christmas. I thought I didn't want to do one of those what I got for Christmas Christmas haul type videos because I just don't really like them I think it's a bit like oh look at what all the presents that I got and I just don't really like the whole thing around them um but I thought if I showed you a few bits the beauty bits that I've brought recently and a few bits that I got for Christmas and that'd be a nice little roundup of things that I've brought recently the first thing I'm going to show you is literally the most beautiful thing in the world and this is from NARS and I got this for Christmas and look how beautiful the packaging is let's just appreciate this um and inside you've got five of the um there's three sorry of the satin lip pencils and two of the velvet matte lip pencils these two here on this side are the velvet matte lip pencils and these three are the satin ones they are just so nice I've worn um Cruella down here which is literally the nicest red ever I wrote on Christmas Day which is a bit of like a oh you're wearing a red lip on Christmas day when you're gonna eat your Christmas dinner a bit of a risk literally stayed on the whole day didn't bleed anything amazing and then I've also worn this one which is Descanso uh, I've worn that one which is like a nudie kind of satin um like it's more of a, the satin one's more creamy whereas the velvet matte obviously matte um but yeah literally nicest set ever so I'm gonna get a bit more use out of that when I go back to uni but what I was going to say is this box is so nice. So if you've got any ideas of what I can actually do with this box, because I want to keep it and do something with it. So yeah, it's just so pretty. I can't wait to get back to you though to put everything into its little place. Obviously here I don't have my storage. I literally just have a bag full of makeup that I brought with me. Um, and I can't wait to just have all of it back because I've been watching videos and people are like, oh, I really like this. And it's like, oh, I've got it I've got it at uni and I want to use it, but I can't because it's up in Manchester. So yeah. I can't wait to go back and just put everything back into its drawers, but this is beautiful. So now I'm going to skip slightly and show you a few bits that I brought from Sephora. I did my first Sephora order on like Boxing Day morning. I've kind of made it a bit of a tradition that I either do a order um, on Christmas Day night or Boxing Day morning. Don't really know why. I think it's you get Christmas money and I'm all excited. I'm like, yeah, let's get some stuff. Um, I'm not very good with the sales. I'm awful. Like, I just can't never find, I can never find anything. Like, and if it's beauty stuff, like, it's always stuff that I don't really want. And then it's like a pound off, and I think, well, I could just buy that full price, so what's the point? Um, I think you just buy things because it's on the sale. So I never really buy anything. Um, so I had some money and I thought, you know what, well, one thing I really, really want is to order some things for Sephora. So I did it. And the shipping was so, so quick as well, um, obviously from America. Um, and literally, I ordered it Boxing Day morning and it came before New Year's Eve because I actually really hurt my ankle the other day. Um, I was going out like with my friends on a night out. It was snowing, fell over. Oops. Um, anyway, really hurt my ankle, couldn't literally even walk. Um, so I was like bedridden, dad brought in this Sephora bottle, I was like, oh my god. So yeah, it was before New Year's Eve. So that is like literally five days, that's so quick. So that, is, like, so, so that was really, really impressive. Also, there was no customs charges, nothing like that. Um, you have to spend over £75 to get the like £10 ship into the UK. Um, the only thing that really annoys me is that you get to the end and then it adds the taxes onto the end and that just drives me insane because I'm like, well, I've spent £75, now you've just added 20 quid worth of taxes and that's 100 It's ridiculous. Well, it's not 100 but you know what I mean. Anyway, on to the products. The first thing I got is this. This is a Tarte, um, I don't even know what it's called, um, Sweet Dreams? Don't really know. It's this here. Um, it's basically got four deluxe um, size lip surgeon lip tints in there. Lip tints. Then you've got two deluxe lip surgeons and matte lip tints, and two deluxe lip surgeons lip glosses in here. It's a lovely set. Really nice array of colours. You've got two lip glosses, which is this one here and this one here. Then you've got a couple of matte ones and a couple of the normal just lip tints. Literally. 
absolutely love this set it's so pretty i've used this one at the end i've just popped them back in here for you to see and i've used this one here innocent was really nice this one this was nice too um i haven't used any of the other yet because i just haven't had a chance um but yeah absolutely love this set really really good value and also this was definitely reduced like on sephora so i did get a sale bargain um but yeah it was reduced on sephora so yeah really really nice little set there and i've always wanted to try things from tarte i've got one of the blushes um but literally i've always wanted to try some bits and this is really really nice i like this. Um, talking about Tarte, I got the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation. I got this in the colour Light Neutral, completely guessed, and it's perfect. I'm so good at guessing shades of foundation online, literally. I'm amazing at it. I don't really know how, but just got a knack for it. I brought this because I have always wanted to try it. Literally, I don't know what it is, but it's like full coverage, it's oil free, it's supposed to last a long time. It just looks like a really something that I would like. I'm not that impressed and I'm really really upset because the reason why I made this entire order oh it's raining the reason why I made this entire order from Sephora is to get this foundation because I wanted it for such a long time and no it's just not working for me I like it it's okay but it's not amazing I'm gonna try it with different brushes different applications and I'm also I've lost my Urban Decay All Night Assessing Spray and that really helps my makeup like to stay on um so I'm gonna try it with that as well and my primers went out so you know I'll give it a little bit of a First impressions, maybe not the best, but maybe it'll be better once I kind of get my products back. But it has got sunscreen in it as well, SPF 15, but uh, not too sure at the moment. I'll let you know if I kind of decide to like it and it kind of it works for me in the future, but at the moment it's not the greatest in the world. It's not awful, but not amazing. Um, this video is going to be so long. Then the next thing I got from Sephora is the Sephora Pro Airbrush um, in number 55. This is what it looks like. I was looking at Sephora hauls like from Lily Pebbles and Viviana and Amelia Liana and all of them uh, before I made my order because I thought, Joe, you know what? what's something that I should really, really get from Sephora? I don't want to just buy something that's just pointless for me to get. And uh, Amelia Liana always goes on about this brush uh, for her foundation. And it's not something that I would use normally for my foundation. It's really loose, like it's just like a powder brush really. But surprisingly, it's really, really nice. I did try this with the um, Tarte one and it didn't work at all. It worked a lot better with the Sephora Pro Airbrush, don't know what it's called, but like the more dense um, brush that I've got already. Um, but this one is so, so nice. For blending out certain formulas, I today I've got on the Dior Skin Star foundation and that one really, really works really well with this brush. It blends out so flawlessly. Everything looks so airbrushed. So yeah, definitely would recommend this. It's really nice. Not something you'd necessarily think would work with foundation because it is literally a powder brush um but really like this and i really like sephora brushes they are amazing very expensive but they're really nice and then the last thing i have is actually kind of like probably the best thing i brought and i did not think it would be the best thing i brought this is the anastasia stasia um beverly hills dip brow pomade in dark brown um i was deciding between getting the pencil and the pomade um basically Recently, I've been really obsessed with eyebrows. I don't really know why, but I think... I never used to fill my eyebrows in because I wasn't really bothered. They were dark already. It didn't make a difference to me. But recently, I've been thinking, oh, let's change the shape. Let's do this, let's do this. Anyway, so I've brought quite a few brow products, which you'll see in the rest of the haul in a second. But when I was on um, Sephora, I thought, well, I might as well just get something. So I got this. Now, you can see I've kind of had a dabble in there already. It's basically like a gel liner or a cream shadow for your eyebrows. Uh, this is a really, really good colour match for me. Again, I was quite good at choosing the colour. I was really proud of myself. I've got it on today. I don't know if you'll be able to notice. Um, but yeah, I just really, really like it for my eyebrows. I'm going to try and go get my eyebrows done uh, before I go back to uni and get them in a better shape because she kind of just does them across and I'd like a bit more of like a an arch um if that makes sense so i'm gonna see how she does that but i really really like this it's really nice i would definitely recommend it it's not even that expensive just it's really good it's it's changed how my makeup kind of looks as a whole really really like this this is actually the most random order ever um then i got this for christmas i got the nars narcissist or narcissist whatever it is smoky eye collection um and this is so nice it's in this lovely little palette here um, it doesn't actually tell you the colours on the back, which isn't very good. Um, but literally, it's got this kind of like soft, kind of neutral colour. You can't even see that. Then it's got this really nice grey. And I've been loving grey. I've got grey in my eyes today. It's just, I've been really liking grey. And then you've got this lovely 
it's like it's like a black with with like purple shimmer in it i don't know if you can see it there but it looks purple when you look at it in the pan but it's actually black but that makes such a nice smoky eye together literally so nice a lovely lovely palette really nice size as well it's really cute and with that also came um the nars larger than life long wear eyeliner in via vento this is really nice i've got it slightly on my bottom um lash line today um no sorry i'm a waterline came with those two and then there was a brush as well but i can't seem to find it it's gone walkies but that is a really really nice set and i really like to get that for christmas now one thing that's probably my favorite out of this whole haul is the urban decay naked basics 2 palette literally it's so different to the first one looking at them you'd think oh my god they're literally like exactly the same but the past week oh my god all i have used on my eyes today i've got frisk which is here and then i've got pr primal I don't know what it is, this one in the crease and I've literally got such a nice like matte smoky eye going on with like a dark nude lip I just really like this look I've been wearing it so much and then you've got some really nice this one at the front um, here is kind of shimmery it's called skimp but I just much prefer this colour range uh, to, to the first one literally absolutely love it and then you've got this really nice brown here called cover and that also can, it can make the palette a bit warmer but i like the cool tones at the moment so yeah really like this and if you're thinking about getting one or two definitely get two so the next thing i've got to show you is the laura mercier smooth finish flawless flawless fluid foundation and this is in the color macadamia now i found foundation really really hard to get right i think a lot of people do but i am a foundation fanatic i buy foundation more than anything but recently i've been really really into my eyes and eyebrows and stuff so i haven't really brought as much like base products which has been really good for me because I've got way too many but I wanted to get a new foundation I wanted to try something new I absolutely love the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 hour foundation the full coverage one literally it's amazing and I wear that every day today I'm wearing the Dior Star Skin one which I absolutely love as well but I read a few reviews on this foundation I thought I'd try it out so I went into the counter which I hardly ever do if I buy foundation I always buy online I just don't really like going to the counter they just annoy me the girl I had was really really nice matching me up to this, this um, shade which is really really nice for my skin the only problem for me this is oil free it's quite liquidy and it really clings to dry patches and obviously at this time of the year a lot of people have dry patches on my forehead i do have a lot of dry patches um i have to use my eczema cream like to get rid of the dry patches on my forehead so it does get quite bad so using the foundation that clings to dry patches isn't the best i on the reviews that i've read no one said that it clings to dry patches everyone said it was fine but for me it really really did I'm just kind of around my nose and like on my forehead. Um, so I think it will work for me at one point when it's not so much in the winter time. Um, I have still been wearing it. It's not like I haven't been wearing it. And it is really long wearing as well. I, I actually wore it on Christmas Day. So it's not bad at all. But I do prefer the Dior Star Skin or the uh, Rimmel one. But yeah, not a bad foundation at all. But just not absolutely amazing. Then, like, the most exciting thing ever, um, Bradley got me such a nice present for Christmas, and he got me a Tom Ford lipstick. And this is in the colour Bruised Plum. Look at the packaging to start with, and can we just appreciate how nice does that sound? Um, literally, this is so, so pretty. Literally, it's, it's so my colour. Like, when I go out, like, this is all I wear. I just wear such a dark lip. I'm going to swatch it but very lightly. We don't want to erase those TNFs in the top. I'm so worried it's going to just go. Um, that's what it looks like. It's so pretty. Um, I wore this on Boxing Day because I just wanted to wear it. Like, I just I just wanted to wear it. So I wore it on Boxing Day. And then I wore it out um, a couple of days ago as well. Literally, I love it. Just look at the packaging. This is luxury of makeup at the top tier. Literally, it's amazing just beautiful then a few more bits that i got for christmas uh, the first thing is the clarence instant light Nat natural lip perfecter and this is in the color 04 now i do really like this i get i do get the hype now once i've worn it but i don't think this is the best shade for me um i think i did ask for this specific shade so it's nobody else's fault but mine um but i think i would prefer a bit of a darker shade this is quite like a baby pink um and that is not really me but i have still been wearing it um quite a lot but they do more of like a brownie tint so that one's like a lot like a lot nicer uh but yeah i really really like this one really nice like a formula i can really understand the whole lip balm lip gloss hybrid really easy to wear just whenever you want to wear anything and really easy to kind of like match with a really nice smoky eye uh but yeah i do like this and it's it's just it's a nice formula the color's just not the greatest for me then another thing i actually asked for is the mac viva glam 5 lipstick i used to have this and this used to be my favorite nude literally it's so nice um it's quite a 
is it a dark nude it's kind of like a medium but literally it's so nice i just love it it's got this kind of like shimmer in it it's just amazing and i used to have this lost it completely or it ran out or something so i asked for it again literally i'm so glad to have it back in my life because it's the most easy to wear lipstick ever love it it's amazing and then two things that i would never have brought myself literally i would never have even thought about buying but i got them for christmas and this one is one of the best things i've ever tried i've got it on now this is the Topshop Lip Lip Bullet in Motel, is that? I think it's in Motel. Anyway, it's this dark nude. I suppose I don't really need to swatch it because I'm wearing it. But it's the formula is amazing. It's so creamy. Literally, it's so nice on the lips to wear. So comfortable. Does not dry your lips like in the slightest, but it's not very like it's not that glossy. Like it's quite kind of just normal. So that's that. And then also I got the one in the colour wine gum. And I haven't actually worn this one yet, but this one's like a really nice vampy colour. Like, look how pretty they are. Literally so nice. Really, really impressed. Absolutely beautiful. Then I've got a couple of eye things to show you. I brought um, my friends these for Christmas, so I brought myself one at the same time, obviously. This is the L'Oreal um, Infallible Eyeshadows in the colour Endless Chocolate. Um, I've never had one of these L'Oreal Infallible ones, um, and I can't find them in the shop. It's like, I've never seen them in a shop, like so super drug boots, anything. Someone tell me, do they actually sell them in English shops? I got these off Fragrance Direct. Um, but this is so nice. It is absolutely beautiful. Literally, the formula is so nice. It's so rich. And it just looks beautiful on the lid, to be quite honest. It's so nice. And then, as I was talking about eyebrows earlier, I've got these two brow products, which obviously I've put to the back of the drawer since I got that Anastasia brow pomade. Um, but this is the Maybelline Brow Satting Smoothing Duo Brow Pencil and Filling Powder. This is in dark brown. So on one side you've got a pencil, which is actually really, really nice, I have to say. I'll just swatch the colour for you. Oh, which isn't really. Oh, maybe it's not that nice. It's not swatching very well at all. That's the colour. Uh, it's a really, really nice colour. And then on the other end, you've got a kind of like a sponge and in the end of the nib here there's like an eyeshadow kind of filler brow type thing and swatching that there you can just see how subtle that is there basically the kind of concept is you fill your eyebrows in with the pencil and then you can go over it with the kind of filler and it looks more natural because you've just kind of like brushed over this is quite nice to be honest it's not bad at all but the pomade's better because I prefer the kind of like more liquidy formula. I think it looks a lot more natural than the pencil. Um, but it is nice. It is nice. However, this one. This is the L'Oreal Brow Artist Shaper um, in the colour Dark Brunette. Now, on one side, you've got a pencil. Now, that's the colour there. One side you've got a pencil. The pencil's not very nice. I don't really like it. I prefer this one. It's more. This one's a mechanical pencil on the Maybelline one. This one's a let's sharpen the pencil, so it's a bit more rough. Um, whereas the other one's a bit more crayony. Then the other side you've got like a wax on this one, the L'Oreal one. It's just kind of a creamy wax that you put over your eyebrows. But obviously, once you use it a couple of times, the wax goes a weird colour. Um, and then you've got a nice little brush, though, on the end of this one, whereas on the Maybelline one, you haven't. Um, but, yeah, brow palette has been really into them, so I've got these two. But this one, Maybelline one's a lot better than the L'Oreal one here. Now, another interesting thing that I brought recently is the Gosh Forever Eyeshadow. It's metallic eyeshadow stick, waterproof, in the colour Light Copper. This is what it looks like and literally this is so nice this is what it looks like do you know what my grandma uses this and she we were shopping together like a while ago i saw that she was buying it um in like a greeny color because she wears green a lot on her eyes um anyway and i just didn't think anything of it but her eyes always look really nice so i thought oh you know i'll give it a go i really wanted something shimmery i've been really after like a shimmery eye not so much anymore because new year's and christmas are now gone but over christmas and new year's all i wanted was some shimmery shimmery eyeshadows that looks like just like glitter around the eye and i just couldn't find any um but this came very close it's like it's really really nice creamy kind of eyeshadow pencil put it all over the lid blend it out literally looks amazing absolutely love this and you know gosh isn't a brand that people really buy from necessarily um but yeah i would really really recommend this if you can get your hands on it because it's in my super jug in my town like here and there's like five brands in there so i think it should be in many people's super jugs so yeah have a look and see if you can get this because it's really nice actually and then as you'll be glad to hear there's only two things left um the first thing that i've got to show you here out of these two is the collection 2000 illuminating touch brightening concealer and mine's in the color natural 2 
Now, one of my best friends, um, she told me to get this and I was a bit dubious. I've tried the Touche Clap before by YSL, absolutely loved that. Not something that I'd repurchased, but I really liked it. And then I've been using pencils here and there and everywhere, really. Um, and they've been using these kind of like illuminating pens like everywhere, like every brand really has them. And I hadn't really found one that like I absolutely loved. I really needed a new under, under eye concealer. And she was buying one of these and I thought, you know what, I'll try it. And she was like, it's amazing, it's amazing, amazing. It is amazing. Um, it's really cheap. It's really good for under your eyes because it's just, it's, it doesn't crease. It's really illuminating. I can do the whole Kim K triangle with this. It's just really nice and because it's so cheap. Like I can highlight all over my face and I don't feel like I'm paying a fortune to highlight my whole face. Whereas if you're using like YSL Touche Clap for example, like if I highlight all over my face with like that, I'll be like, oh my God, I'm spending so much money on just putting stuff everywhere. Whereas this I don't mind at all. But yeah, really like this, would definitely, definitely recommend it. And the last thing I've got is just another EOS lip balm. Bradley got me this one for Christmas. Oh, it smells so nice. This is a blueberry one. I think it's like blueberry acai or something. Really nice. I love these. I think I've got about five of them now. Literally, they're just my favourite. So, yeah, absolutely love these. And you did very, very good to find one that I didn't actually already have. Uh, but, yeah, really like this. Now, I'm really, really sorry for this video being so long. I don't even know how long it's been because I've had to, like, do different clips throughout because people have been ringing me and walking in and stuff. Uh, but, yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. I really, really appreciate it. I hope you have a lovely, lovely day. And I hope you're going to be excited for me to get back into YouTube and get back into the swing of things. I'm definitely, definitely going to be doing a best products of 2014 because I love those videos. And I don't care if you don't want to see it. I'm filming it because I just love them so much. Um, so, yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. I will speak to you very soon. And I hope you have a lovely day. Bye.